The Hill Confanoti project aimed at renovating the 70-year-old Confanoti Teaching Hospital in Kumase has suffered a setback following the inability of the project to clear some of the items from the pores. The consignment of imported towels meant for the project has been locked up at the Tema Harbour accruing demorage. The project is to pay more than 1.7 million Ghana cities in duties to clear the 10 containers of towels meant for the project. The Hill Confanoti project was launched by the Asante Hine in collaboration with the Confanoti Teaching Hospital to raise some 10 million US dollars to renovate block A, B, C, and D of the hospital. The project was to renovate the almost dilapidated 70 year old tertiary facility and also serve as a legacy project for the 25th anniversary of the instrument of the Asante Hine Otunfo or say to the second. Former minority leader Haruna Idrisu has been speaking about this and says he's disappointed that government is not putting such premium on such critical national institutions in the granting of tax waivers. We will have a government that, in spite of the fact that it has irresponsibly mismanaged the economy, occasioning a national debt of 600 billion, about 78% of our GDP, or probably even uh, more, the consequence of that irresponsible management of the economy is stalled projects, including the Confanachi 155 million euro project and the modernization of the maternity block mm. and the long standing and completed uh, project in the history of uh, construction of health facilities in Ghana. And therefore, government itself must expect some cost overruns. That is additional cost to the state, that is additional cost to the taxpayer, which is a simple and mere consequence of their mismanagement of the economy. Mm. When government claims that it has turned the corner, how can you turn a corner when you don't have a final agreement with the external creditors mm. on how to manage your debt? There is no agreement with external creditors on the management of the external debt. Mm. So only God knows when that facility of 155 million euro will be ready for work to commence and for us to expect completion of work on the maternity block and the modernization of Comfort Energy Teaching Hospital. So as I said, misplaced priorities uh, versus where the initiative of the 25th anniversary of Autumn 4 Asantehene. Disappointing, uh, the least to say. Uh, no one expects that Nana Dudankwe and his government would behave this way. Without any shred of doubt, the Asantehene's determination to promote and protect human lives through the intervention of health and improved health delivery infrastructure is worthy of commendation. Mm. My disappointment is in the government and the government of Nana Dudankwa and Dr. Baumia. Essentially, the Confanachi maternity block is a more than qualified candidate for government benevolence under any tax exemption regime which authority vests in parliament, but largely based on practice initiated by the executive. My expectation would be that the Honorable Minister for Finance and the Minister of Finance mm will fast track a recommendation to parliament under article 174 of the 1992 constitution to grant tax exemptions to support the Asantini's 25th anniversary and more importantly his determination to get the infrastructure fixed this is a mass urgently fixed health infrastructure one will be surprised at government which is ready to grant millions of dollars of tax exemptions to uh, other foreigners, be they uh, uh, other foreigners, mm. yet we cannot do so for our own uh, uh, 
uh, His uh, Royal Highness Asantini and the people of uh, Asante. Very disappointing to be hearing and reading about this uh, development. Uh, how much more can we as a government commit to improving health delivery and quality health delivery in the country and providing the needed quality health uh, infrastructure? I think that this government has simply lost uh, its uh, priorities. Uh, this government has simply lost its priority. We have seen instances where the GRA has granted this uh, exemption and come to Parliament for ratification of its decision. Mm. Uh, in this particular matter, it's not too late to fast track a recommendation to Parliament to grant tax waivers to support the maternity block and the development of the Confanachi Teaching uh, Hospital for purposes of uh, preventing uh, loss of uh, lives. Ghana is already not doing well when it comes to infant and maternal mortality generally per the UNICEF statistics that are available to us. And as a former um, minority leader, member of parliament for Tamale South, Haruna Irusu, the chairman of the project, Samuel Adubuache, joins me via Zoom for more on this story. So, Sami, you're welcome to the pause here on Joy News. First, I want to find out, so what is the latest on the matter? This morning when you spoke on the SMS, uh, there was no clear indication as to how this matter is being resolved. Is there a clear way now? I think, yeah, yeah I think that, yes. Belton for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, I hope I'm audible enough. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, um, so um, there have been some very good positive development since we spoke on the SMS. Um, we've had some very influential um, officials of government uh, coming around to uh, help us expedite and also uh, take out the components of the... I think we are, we, are, we are currently experiencing connection issues to... This is for declaring at the port. So currently, as I speak, we've made some positive strides and that maybe going forward, some of the things that um, having to pay these amounts for uh, duties and then taxes. So I, let's understand this. From the start, did you apply for tax waiver? Yes, Elton, um, a letter was written to the Ministry of Finance uh, from Confirmatory Teaching hospital uh, 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 CEO director uh, the only unfortunate aspect of it is that that letter written on the 9th of February had not been responded to or acknowledged by the ministry and having we uh, gotten notice of the item docking at the Tamar Harbor it meant that if we didn't expedite they were going to fall into their marriages, of which, of course, as I speak, we've already gotten into that. Now, the problem for me as a chairman was the fact that having to appeal to the ordinary Ghanaians on the street uh, uh, through the initiative of His Majesty to help heal Confanoche and thinking of paying a whooping 1.8 million Ghana cities for uh, duty was something that I could not bring myself to understand, especially when it is that we are contributing our quota to support the government in the delivery of quality health care uh, across the country, and especially when it comes to Confanoche and its state. For His Majesty's sake and then the initiative he has taken, people are donating towards this project to help us heal Confanoche. And therefore, I did not find it expedient mm. or I did not find it very worthy to take even a penny out to make such a payment as taxes to the government. Therefore, the reason why we have had to come out this way. So 1.7 million, uh, is it your understanding that you, you, you will now be allowed to clear the goods without paying any money? Elton, it is not just a suppose 1.7 million, 1.8 million that we are talking about. Elton, the project committee decided, the technical committee decided that whatever is uh, they are able to purchase in Ghana, they will do it. But however, based on the cost benefit analysis, if they are bringing stuff from outside of Ghana and it's more cost effective, obviously everyone will go for that to make us save some more money to do 
happens on the project because for a $10 million uh, project and currently at 39%, it means that there's still more room for improvement, knowing that a lot of people have not actually responded, though it is encouraging for us to raise nearly $4 million in three months. It meant that um, we are making some good headway. But um, letters that were written had not been responded to. And for now, I think that maybe the attention that has been given to it uh, is giving us some mileage. And I am being cautiously optimistic to say that maybe. Yes, we are so having. Get the waivers that we need, especially for the other items like electricals and plumbing that are yet to hit the country. But Mr. Duwache, if you wrote to the GRA and you did not get a response, then they are, they are not wrong in asking that you pay for the goods that you've imported into the country. Right. The, the, I was the, in, and through the chief director, uh, which of course has been the normal process uh, for the confirmation teaching hospital, except that we had not. I speak as I speak to you, we had not received any response. But for now, I think that something is being done, and we commend the ministry for stepping in right on time. We are just reading some media reports suggesting that the vice president, Dr. Mama Dubaomia, has intervened in this matter. Is that what if you can hear me? I'm, I'm, I'm saying that we are reading media reports suggesting Respectfully, that. Uh, let's disregard our. Yeah, Elton, I'm saying that let's disregard it. As much as I've indicated that uh, high government officials have called and intervened, they didn't mean that uh, it's from the vice president's office. I've not spoken to anybody at the vice president's office. I don't know where that news item is coming from, respectfully. So for now, you, you, you're only banking your hopes on comments and assurances that have been provided by government officials to the effect that they will help you clear the goods from the port. Out and obviously, anyone who gets about this predicament of the project will not sound too happy. Let me give you a perfect example. Right. That I paid a visit to the uh, former majority leader, Kosei Chairman Sabotsu, and I immediately said, no, this is not right. I'm taking it up and then I give, uh, make sure I get all the documents. So it means that for somebody like him, after his, he made a donation to us yesterday, and after said, when we had made the appeal to him, said he was also going to take it up. So obviously nobody is, will be enthused about the fact that we are appealing for money to do what government is supposed to do. And then the same government turns out to take taxes and duties out of us. So we are making some headway. We understand that Mr. Yeah. Chairman, uh, Mr. Chairman, Chairman donated 150,000 Ghana cities. Yes, please. He donated 150,000 Ghana. And he's, and he's still, and he's the same person who's also helping to bridge the gap between you and government in terms of resolving this clearance issue. Um, he called for us to come for uh, a donation uh, between himself and his wife, supporting the call by his majesty. And so I had to chip in to him that this is the rock that the committee has hit, and if he could do anything about it. And as much as he said it was not something that is so easy, he said he was going to do something about it for us. So um, this is where we are. And that level of concern to me is very encouraging. Just like how others who have heard and read about the news are also uh, showing grave concern about the project and the taxes that are ahead of us. Two, two quick questions, so I'll let you go. Is that Ken aware of this challenge? Also, respectfully, when it is that we had been hoping to hear from the ministry that we were not, and therefore hitting the demerit period, we had to write officially to His Majesty. And uh, from my sources, he was also going to intervene. And this was last week, just before the holidays. So I'm also optimistic that His Majesty stepping in will give us a good hour at the moment so we can make progress with the project. And where are we with the project in terms of the renovation works? It is ongoing um, for the contractors to work. Currently, we have, as you are aware, the roofing work has been completed. And for any rains that have been coming in recent times, Mbonoche has been free of the leakages that they used to experience.
experience in the past. And for now that we have gone past the roofing, we have started with the A5 maternity block, uh, A4, A5, and currently at A3, and we are uh, making some good progress. And you also have got $6 million more to raise. Yes, Elton, uh, as it is that we also expect media houses to rally support for this project, uh, we are optimistic that corporate Ghana will respond to His Majesty's call, identifiable groups, uh, associations, churches, etc., will respond. Individuals and private businessmen would equally respond. We are keeping our fingers crossed and being very hopeful that we'll be able to execute this project uh, for the betterment of Ghana, for the betterment of I mean, since, since you are working on this project, perhaps let me just find out. And also all yeah. the other regions that are dependent on cotton. Right. I, I was asking, since you are working closely with Confanoche, I, I, I was asking, since you are working closely with Confanoche on this project, I'm curious to know, how in Idusi says that Parliament in 2019 approved a loan of 155 million euros to refurbish Confanoche Teaching Hospital. Is it a case that CAF has yet to receive this amount of money? Uh, there is no money for such purpose. That is how come the king himself had to take this initiative to raise money from individual Ghanaians to refurbish what is a public entity. The development of a nation does not rest with only the bus. Everyone comes on board to be able to make things happen in the development of any nation, and Ghana is no exception. So for His Majesty to take this up, it is also in a, uh, in a right direction, so to speak. Let me say that I'm unable to speak to any amount that uh, the parliament approved, etc., for the renovation of Confanoche. I am not aware of it. Right. I'm sure this will sit well. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, the network hasn't been the best... Uh, for us this afternoon. But that is Sami Edubache. He is the chairman of the Hill Confanochi Projects, and their tax is to raise 10 million US dollars to refurbish some parts of the hospital. And already they are facing challenges, uh, clearing goods that have imported into the country that will go into the renovation and refurbishment of the Confanochi Teaching Hospital. And we'll bring you more on this story. Now, this.